want to use stable diffusion 3 but don't have that expensive gpu to run all that well worry no more because in this video i'm going to show you how you can use stable diffusion 3 online in your system without the need of that expensive gpu right so yeah guys i'm talking about the shaker ai which is a perfect platform for you guys to use all the possible models of stable diffusion 3 online in the website of shaker ai right and not only you can use it online but you can also play around with the parameters and get the perfect results that would be as good as using stable diffusion 3 locally in your system all right so yeah this is usman from skill curve and let's jump right into the video all right guys so here i am in the home page of shaker ai so this ai tool is basically used to download stable diffusion models like stable diffusion excel excel turbo and the new stable diffusion 3 models as well so this AI tool is basically uh, the alternative of Swift AI, which is now basically banned for some reason. And a lot of people have commented they cannot access Swift AI at the moment. All right, so no problem. This Shaker AI is here for your rescue. And what's the good thing about this tool is now you can go ahead and use this tool for creating AI images as well. Like you can go ahead and use the new stable diffusion 3 model online in that and you can get similar results with similar lighting and similar vibe of stable diffusion 3 like take a look at these images right these images i created uh with stable diffusion 3 so these include like 3d renders cartoon characters animes landscapes and everything like that and take a look at the portraits right portraits come out really good with the online stable diffusion 3 in shaker ai all right all right guys so first of all if you want to go ahead and access stable diffusion 3 online so you need to go to uh, this model section in shaker ai and over here you will get the filter option right over here so in that you need to select sd3 and now he's going to display all the stable diffusion 3 models online for you so according to my testing according to my research the first one sd3 5g clip is the best model so far and from that you can go ahead and get excellent results with excellent lighting excellent light like exact images all stable diffusion 3 whether it's in comfy ui or automatic 11 11 all right so then it will give you option to run model or download so if you want to go ahead and use that locally in your system you can always download it so i'm going to use it online for now so i'm going to click on run model right over here all right and then this is going to be type of a home page that we'll get so on left we have uh the gallery so over here you'll get all the creations that people have created with uh, like shaker ai so we don't need that at the moment so i'm gonna click on cross over here and on right uh, we get all the options to create our images so first of all you get the options to input your prompt then you have the option of negative prompt as well then you have base model which is sd3 now then you have the enhanced model so you can input laura as well so then we also get the options of image reference then with the parameters then we have a very cool options of face or hand face so let's just say you get like some kind of a face deformation or multiple hands in your images so you can easily resolve that issue with just one click in this face hand fix then we have the options for image size and image number all right so now let's just go ahead and test out with our sample prompt so i'm going to input right over here that candid shot of a man with a beard mid love evening light 35 ml photography film professional 4k highly detailed bong tones and all the information that we should be required in stable diffusion like prompts so this is really important and then you also get the options of suggestion right so this is if you want to go ahead and enhance your prompt so you can do that with prompt suggestions and it will automatically enhance the prompt for you all right and we have the options of settings so if you want to autofill or enhance you can do that in your prompt okay uh so then for the parameters i'm going to do the sampler methods as flow mesh Euler, but uh, i want my sampling steps to be 28 because we saw in stable diffusion 3 in our previous videos 28 sampling steps uh is standards rc is going to be random and face hand fix we don't need it right now image number is going to be two and image size we're going to do it as default okay so now let's just go ahead and create this a uh, sample image and see how it's going to turn out all right guys so uh the generation time is really fast it took around 10 15 seconds to create this beautiful image like Sybil Division 3 uh kind of looking image so now we have a candy shot of a man with beard mid left evening lights so yeah you guys can see the vibe and everything in that looks really really top notch right so take a look at the first image Okay, this looks bomb, absolutely perfect. And the second image, wow. Like, take a look at the detail into that. The lighting that's coming out on the beard and the lab, the, the teeth, the smile, everything looks really, really realistic, right? So if you want to go ahead and get 
like original stable diffusion three images so this is the perfect tool for you all right guys and take a look at this canvas as well we get a very beautiful canvas right over here where you can drag and drop images wherever you want okay so after you're done with your images you can go ahead and click on very subtle so let's just say if i click on this so it's going to take this image and create more variations of the same image which will have basically a lot of reference into that so let me show you in a moment all right take a look at this one so yeah we now get a different variation of this image so the first one looks exactly the same a little bit of a difference and the second one yeah so yeah or just like that so let's just say if i uh, create variations of this image okay this one i'm gonna drag it right over here so this was the original so now we are getting reference of the first one okay all right so take a look at that so now we have uh two new images of the previous image so this is how you can go ahead and get like image reference in your images so yeah uh, the next option is prompt. So let's just say if you don't remember the prompt of your images, so you can click on that. And just like that, it will show you uh, the prompt of your that image, okay? Okay, then the last option we do get is of image reference. So let's just say if I click on that, so now my image is in reference settings. And then let's just say if you want to go ahead and create a new image for the same person. So now it will have the reference of my this image. So let's just say I input my new prompt over here. I say a full body shot of a young man in a park, a midday light and all the detail. Let's just create and see whether we'll get image reference of this image right over here. All right. So there you go, guys. So this is how you can get uh, image reference of your image with the help of uh, the image reference feature in Shaker AI. All right. So yeah, now what we're going to do, we're going to test this Shaker AI in detail. So I'm going to be testing out all the use cases that you can possibly do in Shaker AI, which is going to be all the way from human portraits to typography. So yeah, now let's just go ahead and first of all, test out some human portraits uh, with Shaker AI. All right. So for that, I basically went ahead and input my two prompts. Now we'll get four images for human portraits, which will be enough to test out. Uh, the human portraits in Shaker AI. Yeah. So if you're wondering how how we went ahead and created the prompts, so for that, uh, once again, obviously you can get help from ChatGPT. So I input my simple prompt, and ChatGPT went ahead and created all the variations for me with just you know like create me more prompts like this for human portraits, and I went ahead and created more and more uh, like all type of portraits with ChatGPT. So yeah, the ChatGPT new 4.0 is really good in creating prompts. So if you want to go ahead and play around with the prompts, don't hesitate to use ChatGPT for that, okay? All right, you guys, so here we have human portraits. So first of all, we have cinematic close-up of a young woman. So you guys can see the images look absolutely perfect, right? Take a look at the lighting uh, in the hair of that beautiful woman, right? Looks absolutely perfect. Just giving me the vibe of that stable diffusion tree image, right? Right, looks really really good as well as the second image this one looks absolutely perfect as well then the second one uh we have portrait of an elderly man uh with a weather face soft morning light so you guys can see these images turn out absolutely perfect as well right we don't see any deformation any blurriness into that like the detail the clarity in these images are absolutely perfect right so yeah, now let's just go ahead and test out some 3D renders with Shaker AI in Stable Diffusion 3 Online. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and again input uh, my two prompts and let's just go ahead and wait for the results, okay? All right, here we go, guys. So first of all, we have interior of a modern living room. So you guys can see it looks absolutely perfect. Like take a look into the details into that. Like it looks kind of a Stable Diffusion 3 image with 3D renders, right? Looks absolutely perfect, right? Then the next one, wow, this is really, really good. So we have 3D render of a luxury car interior and take a look at this, right? So you guys can see we have a perfect interior with no deformation, no nothing whatsoever. And the kind of a vibe is giving, this is absolutely looking like some kind of a stable diffusion tree image, right? So now let's just go ahead and test out some landscapes uh, with Shaker AI and stable diffusion tree. So I'm going to go ahead and input my two of the prompts. And let's just go ahead and wait for the results, okay? All right, here we go, guys. So first of all, we have landscape of a mountain range. So take a look at the both images, right? It looks really, really good. I'm really much amazed by how it's beautifully, it handles lighting in the images. Like this is basically the beauty of stable division three, right? The images turn out absolutely perfect. We don't see any deformation, no nothing whatsoever. The clarity, the lighting, the vibe is giving is really, really good. And the second one, we have a realistic scene of a serene beach at dawn, right? So yeah, 
This is really, really fantastic as well. The images turn out absolutely crazy, right? All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and test out some anime characters with Shakur AI. So I'm gonna input my two of the prompts and let's just go ahead and see the results straight away. All right, you guys. So first of all, we have anime character with blue hair standing at Bosley City Night. So yeah, these are the best anime characters that we have literally seen ever with any AI tool. And the second one, uh, we have anime character with silver in here in traditional Japanese garden springtime and the images turn out for that is absolutely crazy, right you guys? Okay, so now let's just go ahead and see some cartoon characters with Shaker AI. So I'm gonna input my two of the prompts. So let's just wait for the results. All right, so here we go guys. So first of all, we have a cartoon character in a modern kitchen. So yeah, the cartoon characters turn out a bit okay uh, in Shaker AI, not that good, so yeah. Let's just go ahead and at last test out typography, which was the main highlighting feature in Civil Division 3. So let's just test out that in Checker AI, okay? All right, so here we go, guys. So first of all, uh, we had typography of a calligraphic word, serenity, right? So yeah, you guys can see the typography didn't turn out that good. We had lots of spelling mistakes into that, but the phone it kept is really, really good. And the second one we have Typography neon sign text of open 24 7 and yeah, we do get a little bit of a spelling mistakes into that as well So if you want to go ahead and use stable division 3 specifically for typography So I'm gonna suggest you uh, use the normal local install version of that in comfy UI or in automatic 11 11 But if you want to go ahead and use it for like let's just say landscapes 3D renders, anime characters, and specifically for a human portrait. So this could be one of the best alternative for you to use Stable Diffusion. All right, you guys? So there you have it, guys. This was the exploration of Stable Diffusion 3 online in Shaker AI. So yeah, I hope you like this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.